This episode we're cooking with candy. I am going to make some honey old bay wings, but um, I just briefly rinsed them, but that's not it. I gotta clean these wings. I'm gonna use uh, some distilled vinegar, all right, and some cold water. So that vinegar will start cooking on them. So you want to kind of just let them sit like that. Okay, chemist. Candy to chemist. And you let them sit first. And then after I let them sit, I got to literally go over. And I'm going to take like a little knife. I'll go over everything with a knife. I pull off any feather. I pull off any anything. Like I don't like the little grimy little skin parts. I go over that and take all like that nothing off. Nothing that's grimy. Yeah. But I let them soak in money. this vinegar water first Action. and then um your food will not taste like vinegar once you clean them clean them and if you can see like the water is like it's Dirty. pulling a lot of that off of it anyway and for people who don't thoroughly wash their chicken you know i feel for you anyway um once i get these cleaned i'm gonna season them up and then i will do half of them honey obey and half of them honey barbecue i think it's important to show you an in-depth cleaning after seeing my mama do this, I never really want to eat out again because our restaurant's really doing this. And they charging you $8, $7, $6 for wings. Are they really doing this? I don't know. But I just want y'all to get this in-depth cleaning. Mm. And it's okay if you are putting it back in the water. Because it's vinegar, but look at everything that the vinegar is exposing in this chicken. For my non meat eater. So you rinse all of that off, you rinse them, and then you just dry them off on a paper towel or a towel if you want. Um, once they're clean, you dry them off, and then I put them over in a separate bowl so I can start seasoning. So I'm seasoning with seasoned salt, garlic, pepper, lemon powder. Because they're honey obey wings, I'm going to use obey, black pepper, and some paprika. So my wings are dry. The bowl is a little wet, but the wings are dry. And I'm just going to add my dry rub on them. And if you can hear the music, that is Tiana Murray in the background. She upstairs blasting her music so everybody can hear it. If you haven't already gotten her single called Five Minutes or her album called Patience, do so now, Tiana Murray. So here's uh, the dry ingredients rubbed into the chicken. Um, again, this is just blended in. I did not over blend even though it looks really seasoned. Paprika does all of that. It brings the redness out. You can do these two different ways. You can drop these seasoned wings into a deep frying pan or some hot grease and let them brown just as is with the skin on them. You can sprinkle a little flour on them or you can batter them up. <clears throat> I am going to do both. So for my honey barbecue wings, I'm going to batter those up. And then for my... Uh, honey obey wings i'm just going to drop them in as is i'm gonna probably sprinkle just a little flour on the honey obey and drop them into the deep fryer like that <clears throat> for my batter i'm going to do one egg um a little milk and a little mustard because i don't have any um buttermilk and i like to fry so that's my <clears throat> egg and milk and i'm just going to squeeze some mustard in here I'm only doing a little wing, so it's not a lot required. But mustard is really, really good when it comes to batter. And I'm gonna just beat these up. For my batter, I'm just gonna use a little cornstarch, more flour than cornstarch, and um, <clears throat> that's it for this. I'll put those together, mix them a little bit, and then I'll start wings into wet batter into breading, I'm sorry, my flour breading. Then I'm going to drop them into some hot um, grease. So I'm a little disappointed because I planned on using my deep fryer for my wings. They would have been so really, so good. But I left my plug somewhere. When I moved here from Georgia, all this stuff was in my garage. So I just took it out the garage and I don't have, I don't know what a cord is. I have to find it. So I'm not going to use it today. Unfortunately, I'll just deep fry them in a regular skillet. Um, so no real 
major effect <clears throat> so i'm going to go ahead and heat the oil up in, over there so i sorted them because some of them are going to be obey wings that are not going to be battered and some will be battered so for the ones that i'm not going to batter i'm gonna go ahead and get those ready first <clears throat> i'm gonna sprinkle a little flour over them not a lot and then i'm just going to mix this flour in on them because i want them to have some type of crunch i'm sorry y'all i'm recording sideways so my videos can come out better on youtube and i know i could have just recorded it and then posted it but the fun part about it is i like to go i like to kind of do it live even though i'm not going live but i like to do it step by step while people are watching because if you know it turned out bad it is what it is but for the most part it turns out good so i put my oil in the pot versus the pan so here's why my sauce is going to go but i wanted a pot because you can deep fry better in the pot and i want them to be deep fried so here's what the wings look like after um i put a little flour on it and i still have these waiting to go in so i'm gonna go ahead and drop these first as soon as my grease is ready and these are going to be my honey obey wings and when I drop those, I'll start making my honey obey sauce, okay? So that grease is ready, and I'm about to start dropping these in. You don't want to drop them because this grease is hot, and it will splash back. So get it as close to the grease. Don't be scared of the grease. And I'm not making a lot. It's just me and Tiana. So, I'm not even really a chicken eater, so she's going to tear these down. And you're just going to let them cook until they're browned. Once you cook them, you're going to transfer them over to one of these pans and prepare for the sauce to go. Well, you're going to dip them in the sauce. So, for my Honey Obey sauce, I'm going to use honey. Whatever honey you want to use is fine. Butter, um, some apple cider vinegar, and of course, some Obey seasoning. You can be heavy on the obey seasoning because that's what the point of the honey obey sauce. I mean, yeah, the honey obey sauce is. So I'll drop my butter in with my honey and my apple cider. Well, you can mix them in however you want, but you want to let it come to a rolling boil, okay? So I've dropped a half a stick of butter, and I'm going to just go to town with this honey. But it's cooking, so you want to try to get it in as much. It's probably best if you measure it out first. Nice little bottom coating of it. And now I'm about to whisk this together, but I'm going to drop in some Obey and some apple cider vinegar. Some uh, apple cider vinegar in there just to cut down on the honey, but it's a sauce. And you need acid along with sweet stuff. I'm going to go ahead and drop a little more honey in here. And I am going to drop a nice amount of obey in here and then i'm going to whisk it together so i'm going to do a pour portion yes yes and i'm going to whisk that all together and let that sauce blend here's your wings i don't know how some people may like their fry hard because they're deep fried i'm a so here's your wings they've been rolling baby if you want them a little harder you can but it's not um, necessary. You gotta put them in the oven. Ooh, flat. So here's the first set of seven. I took them straight out the grease. I'm gonna just go ahead and drop them into this sauce. Why not, right? So I'm going to get all of them in. You can drop them in multiple times, however many. They got a nice little crisp to them. So these are not the ones that are heavily battered. They just had a little dash of flour on them just to give them a nice little tiny breading. And it helps them absorb the sauce. Yes, sir. You don't have to be over the stove like me. You could have definitely put them all in a bowl. So after they all were dipped, I'm going to just take the remaining of the sauce and just drizzle it over them because this is going in the oven and it's just going to bake. Is it a lot of sauce? It is, but it's going to get sticky and it's going to dry up and Tiana loves sauce. So yes, sir. I'm going to go ahead and let that. Dry.
Alright, so now I'm going to batter up these wings that are going to be heavily breaded. Drop them in my egg, milk, and mustard wash. And then drop them in my flour and cornstarch blend. Why you ain't do this to my wings? You said you didn't want yours breaded. You mm. said, nah, this didn't matter. Mm. You're picky. Measurements be on point. You be knowing that's your motherly senses. What are you talking about? Because it's perfect. It fits in the flour. We had enough of the egg wash. Perfect. All right. So now I'm just going to shift these in the flour. They're going to get a little gummy. Y'all remember when y'all mom used to make glue with, um, so you want to make sure they all are evenly battered. You don't want to leave them not, but you don't want to drop a bunch of flour in your grease. So yes, evenly battered. Do you want to shake some of that flour off? Absolutely. A lot of people have a hard time with frying with a lot of batter. And I get it because A, it's messy. But B, it's like sometimes you have too much batter on and you don't know when your food is done. So the best way to deep fry with batter like this is to deep fry if you try to do it on top of the stove in regular small amount of grease it ain't gonna be right you did this for what supposed to say my that was your part this is tiana's uh song not my bestie and it's about when you have the best friend and they just played you and you ain't their friend no more girl so girl, so. girl so. i'm gonna try your side I'm going to use the other half of butter and put that in that pot. Um, of course, I'm going to need barbecue sauce. So I'm going to do a lot of barbecue sauce because that's what it is, honey, barbecue sauce. And I like sweet baby rays. Uh, I'm going to cut that barbecue sauce with some lemon juice. This is the brand new one. Let me get the other one that's open. Uh, a little apple cider vinegar. Tons of honey, not tons, but more honey than barbecue. Cause the honey, it's not as bold as the barbecue. I'm gonna do just a tad bit of brown sugar to get them sticky. Just a little brown sugar. Couple of drips of lemon juice. And then we're gonna whisk this thing together. You're going to let your um, flavors all blend together so that butter hasn't melted all the way down yet. Ooh, y'all, this chicken burning my arm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you can move. Only for y'all. <laughs> Only for y'all. So let this boil like the other one was boiling. And that's your honey barbecue sauce. These wings, yes. you can let them sit a little longer, but they're done. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer them out. Usually when your chicken done, if you're deep frying it, you know it because it starts floating to the top. But yeah, it's nice and crispy. Yes, I'm eating some of your wings. Mm hmm We need to make some more wings, Ma. You can do it. Go watch the go watch the cooking with candy replay and you can make it. I one. heard you. Nice and golden yes. brown. These boys are fried real good. I do not like frying. And I promise I'm going to do a veggie episode for my um, non-meat eaters because they're asking for vegan recipes. I know some butternut squash and all that. But as for today, we finna eat these chicken wings. Who vegan? <laughs> so now I'm going to honey barbecue these wings. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Just like my KFC. Add a today. little henny in there. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> these people don't know you for real. Oh, they don't think you're serious. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Guys, I'm kidding. I don't drink. Yeah, I don't believe you now. You don't want to say it. <laughs> if you uh, you can serve alcohol at 18, come on now. Can you? Blame your country. Yes. Because in the food industry. <laughs> <laughs> All 
right, so you're gonna get these boys drenched in this barbecue sauce yes. as such. Drop them in there. I'm gonna let them get some of that. You are not boiling these wings. They are coming in and they're coming out and they still crispy. Cause you can't take away from that crunch. I know how, ooh baby. So I will now lace these honey barbecue wings with some honey barbecue sauce. Cause they all gotta go in the oven. So I have my oven preset to 400. Those look amazing. If you want to do buffalo wings, I don't eat hot stuff. Somebody requested them. And some. we don't got no hot sauce. So. <laughs> Sunshine requested buffalo wings, and I would have done some because Ty would have eaten them, but I don't have no hot sauce because I don't eat hot stuff, so I don't have hot sauce. So. so those are going to sit in the oven on 400 for about 10 of them. And then we're going to eat these fries with them with the sauce that's created. If you need all of the ingredients, please go to my YouTube. Subscribe to me on YouTube. YouTube guys cooking like candy I don't think I can tell nobody how to cook but if you want to cook like me you can subscribe to my YouTube channel I just started it I'm aiming for a thousand subscribers so go ahead and follow me on there you don't even gotta really like it just go subscribe thank me later and this is the finishing plate y'all already know we use paper plates when we eat because this is our real meal and even though it's for show, it's really not for show because we got enough dishes to watch. So, Ty, can you move your hands a little? I know you're trying to eat, but I just wanted to show. Okay, forget hers. There go my honey barbecue. Those are so honey obey, honey barbecue. All right, bon